Hello, I'm doing a uh, quick video. I'll, I'll try to make it quick. I have a habit of rambling on, but I'll keep it really quick. Um, now, this, this is about the uh, the Aovo wheel um, scooter um, with a um, suspension in front and rear. Um, I guess the model model name is ES7. That's Esco Sierra 7. So, you can see the, the shocks in the back, in the front. So, um, it's, it's, it's what your normal one looks like. Um, the most common one, the, this, this design or form factor, whatever you want to call it. But it has uh, shocks in front and back, which is not the normal design. That's their own thing, I, I think. I don't know. But um, I'll give you a quick rundown. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it runs about uh, $300, at least at the end of 2023. Um, around $300, plus or minus, all the things you get on sale or not. So, um, I think what else? Uh, weight limits, um, 265 pounds. Um, the, its dimension is uh, 43 inches by 6.6 .6 inches by 19 inches. At least that's what it says. Um, trying to think. Comes with a year warranty. I'm sure that's going to be limited. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, all, you know, rear braking. I mean, it has one, one brake. I mean, and on the right side is the throttle. So to turn it on. You just hold it in. You know, it it's pretty much works like like most scooters. That this design, you know, has you know sport. Then it has the light. You hold it on. You know, you press it twice. It actually, works a little different, I guess, than the other one. That's interesting. Oh, there you go. So it does work slightly different. So you just quick press green for for off, I guess. I think it's usually modes. And just press it once just for the light, because the light's in the front. Let me turn the light. Light. There you go. And when you press the brake, it flashes. So. And that's even with the, the light off. It'll always have that brake, even when the light's off. So. So, but, um, I like that. I'll keep it short. Um, it's advertised 19 miles. Um, uh, it gets, and maybe in the speed kind of, it's supposed to get around there too, but I'm not, I just don't see that. So, um, that's actually why I'm, I'm returning it. Um, you actually only get, you know, I, I put a little sticker on a 12 mile, so not, and I, I don't weigh much. I weigh one, 165 pounds, which is supposedly the, uh, the baseline that most, that all use from, at least. So, and that's a big deal to me because round trip's only six versus... You know, nine and a half. That's a big difference, and especially when I, I just don't like that. I knew all scooters they lie, don't care, terrible thing. So, so whether you exaggerate or not, um, I, my main reason I bought it was because the, the price was only three hundred bucks. That's a low, lower in price. It was, it was a good deal, you know, and and it had the shocks in the front and back. Um, but because when I'm riding over, um, because you know, I I have a hand condition, I get vibrations, I get I have rain odds and stuff, so I have hand issues. So. I, and the feet, I just want it to be more relaxing. You know what I mean? But it's it's only relaxing when you hit a not relaxing. It's only um, soft enough when you hit large bumps. Uh, when you're driving over the normal on the road bumps, I don't notice any difference. I even had my meter, my, my vibration meter, my G-force meter on my phones, and testing them. And this does work when you hit bumps. You go on grass. If you're on grass, yes, off road, it's definitely definitely better than a regular scooter. No doubt about that. But driving on the road, which is what most people do, you don't. I, they don't. They don't. They don't really help with the vibrations. And they didn't. There's almost almost no comparison. Only when you're off road, or if you hit a, a pothole, it helps. But when you're riding on the road, when you hit the normal that vibration and stuff, it doesn't help at all. When I'm like, ugh, you know what I mean? So plus it weighs more. It's heavier than the regular one. You know. So I'm kind of disappointed in regards to that. But it's still good if you. If you if you want to ride on gravel or not, don't ride never ride on gravel, but you know what I mean. If you ride on anything that's temporarily or whatever else. So um, all right. So hold on one second here. And the item weights item weight is thirty pounds. Uh, the handle height doesn't go up or down. You know, it's um, I think it's stuck at forty seven inches. That's just how it is. But it does. But you know, like it says, it's that's that's usually the good height for almost most people, anyways. And I'm tall. I'm six foot two. So but it closes. Lift this up. Pull it down and it just folds out and it clamps this thing here actually holds on to this thing right here which you can put your, your foot on when you're riding to hold it down so so yeah 
So the pros and cons basically are the shocks work really good, but not on regular flat roads when you have vibrations and only they only work on really big bumps, which, is, which you know what I mean. So which is interesting, and and, I, and they, they look like, like they turn. You got me. Maybe I'm just dumb. It wasn't any instructions if about anything about that, but I'm not taking a chance of breaking it. So, but you know, solid wheel tires. I know uh, um, it's only eight, eight and a half inch. I know um, pneumatic air fuel would be better, um, but I, from my understanding, on these kind of th um, um, devices, <laughs> bikes, e scooters, uh, the smaller the tire, the hard. It's it's just it's just at normal normalcy. Anything with ten and above inch, it's usually if it's pneumatic, pneumatic they're easier to uh, they're easier to take off. The hub will actually come off. Um, but this it's just just a pain in the butt. From I just horror stories, even expensive expensive ones that have small tires. You know, of course pneumatic's good, but you're not going to have a flat tire with a solid tire like these, you know what I'm saying? Which is a positive. So, um, all right, let me finish this really quick. Uh, I said the true, the true distance um, was not, you know, like it says, it was only 12 miles. And I did get kind of get this, um, the speed I did get um, for the most part. You know what I mean? I got the 19 around there. Um, but that was so 18. No, that was kind of pushing it still. I, and like I said, I don't weigh, that's perfect environment, you know, hills. All that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about the tires being inflated here because that usually helps with speed and stuff. But uh, all right, let me get uh, incline. Uh, th this can, again, for my weight, 165, you can probably do an average incline, but not for a long time. Meaning 15. Anything higher than that? No. It's $200 scooter. Don't forget. Um, uh, the motor's in the front, not the rear. Some say the rear's better than the front, um, but for the form factor, it's easier to make this way. But some like the front too. But mm, the majority seem to like the rear. Um, uh, exercise, you can make it, you do exercise on this. It's, it's more works, it actually works the core because um, you're actually holding, it's more work than you think it is. You never rode a scooter in a while. This is, it's, you know what I mean? Be safe, obviously. And when you get the bike, I made sure everything was tightened. Everything was tightened. I didn't have to mess with anything. Um, it came not like 90% 90, 90 put together. All I had to do was put four screws on both sides. Do you know what I mean? Right, hold on, where's my finger? Sheesh. There you go. Two, four, that's it. it no, that's it. It was already, that was easy. So the start off power is pretty good. Like um, even people don't realize that if you're not used to riding a scooter, when you kick off the rear, you know, not sort of the front on this part, it'll kick off. You're not used to that. And the rear will, will be, the back will kick off. So you've got to be be aware of that. You're not used to that. So in the stance, people ask for the stance. You should stand like this. You know what I mean? All depends on your right or left foot. Whatever's come more comfortable for you. And if you want, um, have your foot on this like that and you're stepping on it. So, and also some people say that if you want to practice, have you been on it for a while, practice. And it all depends which side the trap, the car, you know, the car doors will open up. That's that's how, that's where you choose your stance. Which have you can jump off quickly, you know. Also, uh, it's important that the deck is not very wide. This is the average size for this these types of models, and that's actually kind of common. Um, but some people like larger decks. Some people don't like larger decks. But these are the higher end, are a little bit larger. But you know, but I'm trying to think what else. Practice, always practice. You will crash. I don't care the the highest quality, whatever. You will crash. Always wear a helmet. Keep in mind, if they go anything over 10 miles an hour, you actually, on a regular basis, you should wear a helmet that covers your face, too. Like your face, your full, like a, a, you know, a, a DOT, Department Transportation Rated Helmet. A motorcycle helmet, for the most part. So, if you do that all the time, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think, um, I wear riding gloves, too, just in case. Even the children's scooters, the small scooters, they'll actually, um, they're similar, similar size of this, too, but maybe a little smaller and lighter, obviously. They don't have shocks, usually. That when you stop, it'll the back will hit your heel, it'll hit your right here, and, and you got me just just because I when you jumped off of it, and, it, and yes, I was bleeding from that. So, um, oh, cruise control. Um, usually, when you leave the throttle on um, you know, for a while, um, I forget how long it is on this one, but it'll, it'll like seven seconds or five, five seconds. It'll keep that speed, you know, which is convenient for most people, but that shouldn't shouldn't be automatic. But it's uh, it's on default on almost all scooters, and that's dangerous. Like if you forget. Or don't, didn't know that you'd be going in an intersection, not realizing when you let go of the throttle, you're still going to keep going in an intersection. You know what I mean? So, which is important in regards to the braking, the stance too. Like I was saying, you got to bend your knees. Always bend your knees. Always. Even when you when you when you're moving, not moving, never stand side by side like this. That is, you're just you're you're just asking for trouble. You're going to fall off you're in, a, in a bad situation. It should be like this. Whatever you want to do, right or left, and then bend your knees. You know what I mean? And then when you have to slow down a brake. You bend your knees more, and you're like leaning back. 
And after you do that for like a full day, you get used to it and it's comfortable. It's just how you, then you realize that's how you should drive because you, you break any other way, you, you, it's just not, you can't break any other way safely. Do you know what I mean? Unless you're going a lot slower, like one mile an hour. You know what I mean? So bend your knees and bend your knees further and lean back and as you slow down. You can, because you know, these brakes are, even though it's, um, do you know what I mean? Uh, hold on one second. This is a drum brake. Yeah, drum brake. And I'm guessing it might be electrical braking too. I'm not sure. It could be generative. I don't even see it on the, on the I'm sorry, not really helpful there. But it does, the brakes do work pretty good. So some, on, sometimes if you have two brakes front and rear, you hit them and with electrical braking, regenerative, you, you hit the brake too much and you just go flying. Do you know what I mean? So, but if you always have that stance and you lean back, you, you will never go flying. You know, usually how fast, unless you're going like 60 miles an hour, you know what I'm saying? But these don't go that fast anyways. All right. I want to keep it short. Um, like I said, suspensions are different types that are out there. Um, these are normally good suspensions. Um, um, it just doesn't handle the, the regular road like I have, which is, I know it's weird. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? And I couldn't find anything about adjusting this. And I just, I don't think it can be adjusted, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? But I'm probably stupid and probably can, but I haven't seen it in the, in the manual. I'm not going to break it because it's under warranty kind of thing. I wish, I wish they would said if it was adjustable. Because that's where your hands, you know what I mean? But when you hit regular ro road, I don't think it will anyways, because it's too, I don't know. But there's a, there's a new type, a C-type, um, also called a swing arm suspension, which is like a C. And um, they, even though they look freaking weird as you know what, but they seem to be a little better with suspension, with um, regular lever road, like little vibration. Um, plus, there's all kinds of suspension types. There's so many. You know, but I'm not going to spend $2,000 on a scooter. And some of those are like high-end suspensions and adjusted in every every corner some even have rubber inserts you can put to adjust your um your bounciness and all that stuff so but all right i'm, I'm, I'm can't rambling on again um braking also um app <clears throat> like um, most come with an app um that are using app as does this this uses an app as well but make sure i've seen i've seen one that looks like this they don't have the app so make sure but you just use the app to go on there so and I'm not going to give you the app name because it's it's not what you use, because <laughs> it's not what I use. Um, it's not what's listed in the box, and I don't think this is a, I mean, this is a generic one. So I'm not even going to give you. Any, I, I didn't use the app anyways, but I did I did test it, and I, you can turn it off and on, and all, uh, the which which is good. Locking um, this app I use doesn't have the locking. You know what I mean, some don't have locking, but you can control it. Um, but you can you have to look when you when you get the app, and you're the, you know what I mean. Some some scooters come with keys. And they give you two keys. Um, this actually has it in the app or whatever else. So, of course, the battery's not removable. I mean, another thing I'm not a big fan of is this thing. Terrible kickstand. I know it's $200. And why am I complaining, right? It's still, a, it's still an overall good scooter if you don't care about the micro vibrations of the road. I mean, then for the, and you don't care about it's only 12 miles total at the max, max distance. Otherwise, it's a really good scooter for the price. Do you know what I mean? I'm just being finicky. But, the, but this right here... <laughs> Don't like it. It's just flimsy and just, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I wish they had another type. All right, what else, what else? Single versus dual motors. This is a single motor, obviously. A two motor, that's actually like really heavy or you go really, you go really quick or more for off-roading and high incline. So for the average user, you don't really need two motors, you know, unless you're, um, you know, really heavy, you know, that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, like, like I said, this one has a weight limit, I think about 265 pounds. And some go up to 300, I think, was the highest I saw. I think 450 was the highest I think I saw once. All right, front and rear motor, like it says, uh, front versus rear, I explained it to you. The front and rear motor, that's all up to the person, but I think most people like the, the rear versus the front. Um, for It's like, like your cars, you know, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive. So um, tires, I, I would get, recommend getting a 10 inch if possible. Uh, the, the smaller is good too, it's portability, but you, you don't realize how much space, you know, this doesn't take any space. This is awesome size. I mean, it falls, it's really compact. I mean, but when you put it together with a, uh, when, yeah, start adding tires, bigger suspension, and just a uh, seat and all that kind of stuff you can add, more weight, larger battery, or frame, it's no longer portable. You're, you're competing with, with an e-bike, you know, sort of, for the most part. You know what I mean? Um, even though it's still way shorter, they're always, almost always way shorter than most e-bikes. Um, but e-bikes are allowed to go places more than scooters are. Did you know that? I didn't know that. You can, like in Florida, for example, that's where I live, I live in Central Florida, you can, all of Florida, under, even though people, I see people riding them, but you can technically buy only loud to ride them um, when you're um, 
on the, the road on bike lanes. Otherwise, you're not allowed to. And if, you know what I mean? You gotta be 16 years old, don't need, don't need a driver's license, don't need to register it. But you're not allowed to ride on the sidewalks, you're not allowed to ride on only your private property and on bike lanes, which you gotta carry it anywhere else, which is interesting because other areas aren't like that. But yes, they, they say it's a motorized device. Even though you can use your pedal foot too, I guess, but I don't know, maybe if you're, if you're doing this, you, you know what I'm saying? I guess you use your foot, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird, there's a lot of gray down there. But, um, but, but e e bikes, they have pedals, so they say, okay, you can use them, because don't, they don't know if they're e-bikes, hard to tell. You know what I mean? You, you can go more places with e-bikes, you know, less, you know. Also, if you get a larger scooter, whatever else, you want to get a, um, you know, uh, with larger tires. The same with an e-bike, always put a um, flat out in it, a sealant, always, because it's just a whole lot easier than <laughs> replacing the tire. Also, this, uh, this doesn't have room for accessories, um, you know, wear a backpack, you know what I mean? Uh, some might have extra clips, which you can take, I guess you can use this as a clip too. That's the thing that holds it down. And some have even seats, you can buy it in baskets and everything else, and you can put them on your scooters and built into them or detachable. But you know, for $300, you don't really need it for the most part for this. Um, seat suspensions, if you do get one, they have, um, I would recommend getting seat suspension that's really thick and padded. And um, some, some have seats, um, good suspension, some don't. So, um, honestly, call me a what? I don't know. I like seats on certain scooters. You know what I'm saying? That's comfortable. You know what I mean? I have a couple of scooters, you know? But they're not always, they don't always have enough power to go uphill. I've learned that. So, you, if you're going to get a seated scooter, make sure you get something. These, I think this, this is 350 watt. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it is. So, um, which, is, which is good because 350 is good. Don't get, any, don't, get, don't get anything smaller. Unless you're, unless you're a kid for a trial or whatever, 350 is fine and less. But 350, don't. Just don't do it. You know, I weigh 165, uh, minimum three, 350, which is still good. You know what I mean? But if you weigh more than 500, you know what I mean? So you want to get a, you know what I mean? If you want to go off, um, and, and if you want to go off-road, or, or a little quicker, but mainly off-road and all the kind of larger tires, 10 minimum. You don't need a dual motor, two motors, just one is fine. But at least make sure it's 1,000. Do you know what I mean? 750 will work too, but you might not be able to get those up those inclines. And I don't, you know what I mean? You will, like on 750, you're going to go up. But you won't have, you might stall, what do you, however you want to call that, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, weather rating, um, I, don't, I don't, sorry, I don't know, this didn't say it on here, did it? Yeah, most of them say they're waterproof, water resistant to a certain level. Um, it's, a, it's a battery, uh, lithium, so don't, I wouldn't, no, no, no e-bike, I don't care, e-bike or e-scooters is water resist, waterproof. So if you don't have to get it wet, don't. Do you know what I mean? Um, charging, I think this only takes two or three hours to charge. Um, and like the, this doesn't weigh much, which is, which is 30 pounds is pretty nice. That's pretty small. You know what I mean? That's, that's really good, actually. That's for the suspension too. Do you know what I mean? Um, how do you see, foldable, portable, very foldable. I like this, like that. The lighting turns, this doesn't come with turn signals. Sometimes they come turn signals for legalities. You know what I mean? Um, also terrain, never ride. Common sense stuff I'm telling you. Safety, wear protection, da 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 da. But um, it's a small tire. Like if you, you hit stone or, or uh, pebbles or grass or wet grass it's not my mouse would be zero traction so never have any do any maneuvering or stopping on anything that's not good terrain you know what i mean um it you, you, some people get complacent because they, they can go quick on these not realizing you hit a pebble wrong you can flip you know what i mean that's why oh, the stance is just as important too i think I'm, i think that's it i think um yeah i'm sure there's a lot more stuff but for the most part it is a good scooter. Um, does not. It only goes 12 at the most. That's the most I've ever gotten it. And I tried going uh, max speed because um, they have three different speeds. Um, top, medium, low. And the lowest speed I got maybe 10% more. Actually, this is the same for all my scooters. I get 10% more, but I can get that back by only riding this like for maybe 45 minutes. Stop for 15 minutes. Riding it for 45 minutes and stopping again for 15 minutes. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you get. I can get that back like that. So. Um, it's still, but still, 12 miles max. Do you know what I mean? If you, if you go um, full force, you, you're lucky to get 11 miles max. But, or, or 10 miles max, the best way to say it. So um, not even close to 19. I don't know how they got that number. You have to almost weigh five pounds. I, don't, I just don't like that. Why do they, why do, they do that? So um, even for a child, they, they, well, that won't work at that weight, unless they're really small. So, but okay, I'm talking too much. That's it. Um, Later, later.